Hey, hi there, French Vinyl Addict coming for another uh, video. Uh, today's one is a little bit special. Um, as you know, I'm French from France, and uh, it's, it's really nice to see a lot of people uh, watching the video of my channel, watching the videos of my channel uh, from French space, Europe space, from the US, from New Zealand. And uh, I thought maybe today I could show or introduce some French stuff you wouldn't believe are French and great stuff to you. So I just pick up a couple of albums and from my collection and I'm gonna tell why these albums are great and why you should even listen. Ready? Let's go! So the first one um, I'm gonna go with uh, is a uh, early, uh, late 70s, early uh, 80s uh, heavy rock, hard rock, uh, heavy uh, French band Trust. Uh, Trust, um, there are a lot of connections actually between Trust and a famous, famous, fa famous band, for instance, uh, Iron Maiden. Uh, Nico McBrain, when Nico McBrain joined uh, Iron Maiden for a Peace of Mind album, he used to play with Trust. And Clive Burr, who used to play with uh, Iron Maiden, joined, joined Trust. And, and, and I think uh, during the record session of the Black Album Metallica uh, they were listening to a lot of albums by the French band Trust. So this is a, a great album. Uh, and yeah, Ton Dernier Act, this is a, the last song as well, is a tribute song uh, because they were friends with Bon Scott. And actually Bon Scott of ACDC mentioned in quite a lot of interviews uh, that French band Trust uh, because they had probably the same uh, styles and the same vibes at that moment, so they were friends together and um, really good album if you like uh, early 80s, late 70s, uh, hard rock, heavy, heavy, heavy metal, uh, trust, French band. The second one um, is a French band too, uh, but it doesn't sound French, uh, it's called uh, Variation or Les Variations. And it's very interesting because uh, they were originally from Morocco. I think they moved, uh, they moved to Paris in, in the 60s something. And uh, they made a really great album. And I think uh, Noble Record uh, already mentioned a couple of times that record on this channel. Um, it's, it's really great. It's called Nador. Nador is a, is a, is a city in, in Morocco. And uh, before Led Zeppelin uh, went to Morocco, uh, in, was inspired by, uh, by Moroccan music. That band already um, had some oriental influences in, in their music. Uh, it's a blues, hot, heavy, heavy blues, late 60s. Uh, it's incredible. Um, it's probably one of my favorite album uh, from, from a French band. I say it also, so you should really give a try to, to that record. Uh, the next one is a little bit special, uh, and they, they sing in English. And the, the next one is a little bit special, uh, as it, it is not French. Okay, it is French. It's from Brittany. Uh, Alan Stevel, uh, some of you may know, because uh, he's a Celtic music, uh, very orientated. And it's interesting because um, this is a live album, a uh, very good album, uh, 1972, in, live in Paris. Uh, this is a result, uh, you know, in, in 68 there were like a lot of events in, in, in Paris and uh, Street Fighting Man, for instance, was composed by the Rolling Stones because they, 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 have, they watched what happened in Paris. And uh, after this event, which was like a small revolution, uh, a lot of people say, hey, free to speech. So free to speech um, means, meant at that time that a lot of region, French region, they had their own dialect. They should be proud of their roots, of their culture. And Brittany uh, has, a, has a strong culture and music heritage. So uh, a lot of musicians move to Paris and uh, start to play again and to sing in, in the Brittany dialect. And this is the result. Fantastic live album. Alan Stiebel, uh, you have uh, Down Arbras, uh, which is a famous guitar player. Uh, he also had a really nice career, solo career, uh, Alan Stiebel, Alolapia, 1972. The next one is, uh, you could probably rank in the rare and obscure uh, stuff, uh, Silver Train, which platform please, um, is a really obscure band from the, from the 80s, 
The band uh, comes from eastern part of France, uh, Alsace, the same place where I come from. And it's really, uh, yeah, yeah, like a Def Leppard kind of style, uh, Metallica, uh, mid 80s, uh, heavy, heavy metal, hard rock. Uh, from that period, Judas Priest, you know, uh, all that kind of, of stuff you were, uh, you, you were able to listen in the mid 80s uh, were not famous, didn't have a chance uh, to, uh, to, to become huge, unfortunately, because that album is really good. Uh, they sing in English as well. Uh, Silver Train, which platform, please? And last but not least, uh, this is Magma. Magma uh, is interesting because it's uh, it's very experimental. It's a prog rock. Uh, the founder of Magma was a huge fan of John Coltrane. He was really, div I think he was uh, like devastated when uh, John Coltrane passed away. So he had that project, Magma. They have it's it's very experimental. Uh, you have to go really into it because they had they like own, he created an, an own language. Uh, it's it's a to totally concept that all the albums are really um, it's not for it's not prog for beginner Let, let's put it like this so uh, but it's really interesting uh, magma uh, this is a live album uh, you you really feel all the um, inspiration jazz inspiration of course it's a prog album a uh, lot of it's, it's, uh, just give it a try so so yeah, I hope you, you like, maybe uh, you know about one of the other bands I was just presenting in today's video. Let me know what you think in the, in the comment sections and maybe do you have also another uh, French group you would like to share with us, so please just let me know. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next chapter, bye bye.